Hey traders, Raggy here and in this video we're going to walk through this morning's Russell trade because I think a lot of you have had questions about the way that I uh, do my intraday trading. We have made a very um, concerted effort to shorten time frames in this current environment. We've talked a lot about why this is in the last couple of weeks, mostly because of summertime trading, low volume, lots of geopolitical uncertainty, and technically speaking, we've lost that overall uptrend that we've seen since the second week of January across so many index futures, in index equity futures, and individual equities. So when you start to move into choppy markets, for me, uh, moving to shorter term time frames and day trading within that overall chop has been something that has served me well throughout my career. So I'll just shift gears and, and do that again. The timing is right, the market trends are right, and the day trading has been phenomenal. So um, just looking at the alerts that we've sent out, uh, the patience that we exercise is really direction first. And, and I know that we've talked about this in a few videos, but you get to see a, a few of these trades here at work right now. So this is a one minute chart of the Russell. The Russell was the one alert we sent out. This was the trade that had early clarity, early organization. And you know, here's the opening bell. This is 930. This is the little circle here. Right off the bat, there's a few things that I'm looking to identify. Where are we in relation to the prior point of control, value area high, value area low? You know, that's going to, for me, to a certain degree, give me a very early tendency. We have a saying in the room, tendencies are not trades. Tendencies by way of, say, uh, volume profile levels, tendencies by way of seasonals, whether that be end of day or intraday, these are tendencies. But we will let the tendencies influence direction, but not be the end-all be-all, and certainly not set up a trade on their own. But it did not take long for us to see, maybe within the first 10, 12 minutes, that we were establishing support above the volume weighted average price. And these are those three cyan colored lines here. So we're above all three volume weighted average prices that I use. And let me just zoom in a bit here so you guys can see some more nuance. There we go. And we started to, within pretty short order, start plotting these propulsion dots. That's really important because that's the structure we, we needed to go ahead and trigger a uh, what we call a 15 minute breach, which is not that we're tr buying something or selling something after 15 minutes, but rather the setup is formed within the first 15 minutes and then we're waiting for it to trigger. And, and that it did uh, shortly after. And let me show you how we identify these breaches with a tool that I give to members. There we go. So you can see it right there and then it actually highlights it. Here's your long trade trigger, label and alert, boom. And what we did, because I'm a big fan of retracements, is we waited for exactly this. That's why this white area is, is shaded in here. There's our, there's our entry, uh, had another opportunity for a breach, and then the 10 o'clock breach. So this right here is a breach. This is what we call a retreat. Okay, there's your breach, there's your retreat. This is another breach based upon the 30 minute or 10 a.m. breach. And then we looked for a retest. Now, these retests and these retreats are really important if you're looking to play the options on RTY or IWM. And I love showing these examples again and again because what I'm able to do in these videos with you all is show you that this isn't something that's a well-chosen example from six months ago or something I did five years ago that worked out so well. This happened literally, you know, it's 5.30 as I'm recording this video, East Coast time. This happened literally, you know, seven hours ago, right? This was this morning's setup. So that was four different opportunities to get long. And we weren't talking about, well, let's get long here um, and get short here and get long again. Like, I don't play that game. I find a direction and I stick with it. And I think that kind of directional commitment gives us a lot of latitude to take off one, two, sometimes three profit targets. Today, we saw, you know, beautiful upside through the clearing range and uh, through 1548. And these are all alerts that we send out. So uh, by and large, as a trader right now 
who wants to guide the uh, the gang, the group, uh, through to about 11 a.m. and say, look, if you want to call it a day and just, you know, check out, no problem. You know, you want to check out for the day by 11 a.m., basically after about, in fact, not two hours, about 90 minutes. In this environment, I am really, really fine with that. I've been asking traders to basically call it a day after noon, really after 11.30 if possible. And this is not just to be some sort of, hey, you know, you can trade 90 minutes. and No, this is actually tactical so you don't do anything dumb the rest of the day, right? I'm not trying to be this hyperbole of, hey, trade 90 minutes. And no, 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 no. I'm really trying to tell you, trade 90 minutes so you don't spend the rest of the day trying to catch that same wave that I don't believe is is really caught other than in this window of time and uh, stop from doing anything stupid, okay? That's really it, right? How's that for inspirational? But it's true, gang, and I hope it helps, and I'll see you in the next update.